How do you explain the money, the fundraising hall? Obviously, people are donating to Donald Trump and they are donating a lot of their hard earned coins in a pandemic. How do you explain that? Why are they doing that? Zerlina, because Donald Trump keeps manipulating and fooling a significant segment of the population. Uh, he, he had people believe that he was going to be reinstated this month, right, in August. So unfortunately, there are a lot of Americans uh, that still pay attention uh, to what he says and that respond to those email messages that really try to make people angry and manipulate them. And uh, it's a shame. But look, it's not surprising. A few years ago, politics became just one of the other businesses for the Trump family. And uh, they're doing a good job here of making it as profitable as possible and of keeping him as relevant as possible, even as most Americans have started looking way past Donald Trump and turning the page. So you, I think that's a good explanation of why people are donating. What do you think the point is for the Trumps and, and his allies? Are they fundraising for Donald Trump's 2024 campaign? Are they fundraising for his legal defense? Are they fundraising just because he likes to raise money and have it? Um, what do you think their angle is? Is it a grift or are they serious about maybe creating a presidential campaign again? Well, Zerlina, maybe it is to run uh, for president. Surely uh, the president wants to play in some of these primaries in uh, 2022 uh, to get his uh, candidates across the finish line. Uh, and that way he can keep himself relevant. Remember, this man is all ego. This man is all ego and raising money feeds that ego. It keeps him relevant. It makes him believe that he's going to continue being a consequential figure in American politics. But let me tell you something, Zerlina, a lot of Republicans are complicit with this because they keep him relevant, because they go and visit him and ask mm -hmm. him permission to do things. So voters see this and say, well, look, Donald Trump is still important. He's still the leader of this party. Uh, we have to support him. And by the way, those are funds that those Republicans are never going to see because Donald Trump isn't going to share that with anyone. Donald Trump uh, isn't going to go out of his way uh, to help uh, uh, a lot of Republicans. He's going to use that money for his personal advancement, whatever uh, it is he wants to do in the next few years. Well, it'll be interesting to see what he uses the money on. I guess like bigger rallies with like bigger sign. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. He definitely wants to do those Maybe rallies and that costs money. Um, Maybe a golden statue. Maybe. Maybe. We'll, we'll have to see. I mean, I think it's going to be climactic um, and dramatic. Um, what about the issue of the president's tax returns? I feel like this is an issue that matters a whole lot to me because I haven't seen his tax returns and I know that there might be evidence of crimes. Do you think any Republican voters even remember that we haven't seen his tax returns? Well, Zerlina, so I always believe the president should have uh, published his tax returns because it's a tradition that was uh, established uh, decades ago now. He didn't do that. And, um, you know, that's why we're in this situation. While I was in Congress, I always thought that uh, the Ways and Means Committee, the Finance Committees could only request these returns while they were conducting oversight uh, over the IRS. Obviously, this Department of Justice has seen it recently. The bottom line is still the same, uh, that the president has refused to be transparent. He should have done it voluntarily. Uh, I, I don't know that we'll ever find out what's in these returns because only under very specific conditions can those returns be published. I think it would have to go uh, to a vote in both chambers. Uh, but, you know, clearly Donald Trump has a lot to hide, right? And there's a lot that he uh, hasn't revealed to many people. And it's likely that a lot of what he's hiding is embarrassing to him. Uh, one famous Republican leader in the House once told me, you know what, I'm not that sure that he's concerned about Russia money and Russia ties uh, being evident in his tax returns. Uh, this person said that his, that Trump's concern was more likely that he really didn't have as much money as he said he does. That's what would be most embarrassing to him. So who knows? Maybe we'll find out. Maybe we won't. What Congress should do is pass a law so that all future uh, uh, nominees have to publish their tax returns before the election.